We're gonna wrap it all up with the minor intervals and the tritone. Me and the tritone are, we're good pet. We're, anyway. I have friends. Yeah, I have friends. I have tons of friends. I have a lot of friends. So we're in a major scale, and we start with one and move to a flat two. And the flat makes it fall one half step lower. A normal two is major, the flat version is minor. Flatting a major makes it a minor. Putting a flat makes it into a minor interval. So now that you know that, what is it? Huh? Sorry, what? Oh, <laughs> it's a video. You can't talk to me. It's a minor second. Lowercase m, two. One to two in a major scale is normally a whole step. But with the flat there, now we go back one half step. So how many half steps are we away from the tonic? One half step. So let's say we're starting on one and landing on a flat third. Third, flat major makes it minor. That means lowercase m minor third. And since a major third is a whole step and a whole step, or four half steps, with the flat it becomes three half steps from the tonic. So let's say we have a fifth with a flat. <laughs> I see, a flat major makes a minor, but what does a flat perfect make? A flat perfect interval is diminished. When you sharp a perfect, you get what's called augmented intervals. But that's not all, because a flat fifth is enharmonic to a sharp fourth. Enharmonic. So it's both a diminished fifth and an augmented fourth? One isn't a version of the other. It's equally as weird to see a sharp fourth and a flat fifth. So instead of having augmented fourth and diminished fifth just fight to keep the name, we give it a new name. Can you guess what that name is? It's written right here. It's Tritone. It's like if you give two of your friends the same nickname, then you don't have to remember their real names. You do that, right? Yeah, everybody does that. I have no idea who they are, but I call them Joey. Okay, we know that a perfect fourth is whole, whole, half. So that means we have five half steps. Once you add a sharp, it's six half steps from the tonic. So let's say we're going from one to a, a flat six in a major scale. One to six is a major six. And we know that a flat major makes it minor. This is a minor six. And if we were to count the half steps, we would have eight half steps. A minor six is always eight half steps. A normal seventh in a major scale is a major seventh. A flat major makes it minor, so say it with me. Count of three. One, two, three, bananas! Gotcha. A minor seventh. It's ten half steps from the starting note. And that's all the intervals. But there's a few things to say before we leave it off. The names that we just learned are kind of just their common name. It's what you would say if somebody asked you to identify it by ear. But the real truth is, is that every interval has multiple names and they're all correct. But let's take a break for now. Go get, go get a drink of water for about a week, uh, maybe two. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. I'll see you next time.